Hi ladies, today I'm going to show you how to layer wraps. You can get some really great looks by layering clear wraps over other solid colored wraps. So what I'm doing today is I have the Fall Fancy, which is this clear wrap of leaves. And I'm going to layer it over the rose gold, which is really pretty. So this is what it's going to end up looking like. All right. So what we'll do is, as we always do with wraps, is we'll start with prepping the nail, or of rubbing alcohol. Or if you have any of the um, Jamboree prep wipes, you can use those. But any rubbing alcohol you have around the house is also fine. All right. And then you take your cuticle pusher and you press back your cuticles. Okay. So then you take your wrap and you pick the size that works for your nail. Keep it in mind that sometimes you have to trim it a little bit because you never want it to overlap your skin because that can cause lifting. All right. So you use the pointed end of your orange stick to lift it up and then you use your scissors to cut it. And so you want to avoid touching the adhesive part with your fingers because you don't want to get oils on the adhesive. Okay, so then I put it back down and then I use the flat end of the orange stick to lift it up. Okay, and then we turn on the heater to heat the wrap. Now I do recommend using the heater over a hair dryer because the heater emanates rather than blows heat and it's really convenient to have it just sitting on your tabletop. Now you're only going to heat it until the wrap starts to curl. And that's when the adhesive is activated. So you see how it's kind of curling and flipping? That's when it's ready to go. All right. So then, place it on the wrap, or on the nail. And then I press down the middle first, and then the sides. That way you, you avoid any wrinkles. And then I use the cuticle pusher to seal the edges. Okay. All right, so then we're going to apply the next wrap in the same way. So you're just putting two wraps on in the same way. All right, I'm going to choose this one. So again, you use the pointed edge of your orange stick to lift up the wrap. And then cut it. And then I put it back down and lift it back up with the flat edge. And then once again you heat it, and you always put the adhesive side toward the heat source. Up, oh, see, and it flipped really quickly. And so now, you just layer it on top of the other wrap. Once again, go down the middle and the sides, and then use the cuticle pusher to seal the edges. All right. So there we go. All right. So now, just like with any wrap that you're putting on, you're going to cut off the excess. So we'll cut off the excess. 
and then we'll file off the remainder of the wrap. So you use a coarse file at a 90 degree angle, so perpendicular to the nail edge. And it'll take a little longer than usual because now you're going through two layers of wraps. But it will, as you can see, it will start to crumble off. I'm going to go off camera because I need to hold it up close because I can't see. All right, there we go. So then what you do, so now we have it flush to the nail edge. And to avoid lifting, you want to do a 45 degree angle with a glass file. And if you don't have one, contact me. I am here to help you out. I have a bunch of these. I can hook you up. And this is a finer grain than a regular coarse file. And you use the glass file at a 45 degree angle to create what I call a tool edge on the nail. So what you're doing is you are taking off a sliver of the nail at the end and it's really not noticeable. So that the way you can scratch at things, peel onions, scratch your head, you know, use your nails like, like humans do without the nails, the wraps lifting up. So there you go. It's a really pretty layered look. Here it is on a thumbnail. I will complete it with the rest of my nails later. Um, so there you go. If you ever have any questions about applying your wraps, please contact me.